Hi, I'm Mel Hartman, and today we're talking about balancing excitement. Today's card is the Knight of Swords. Now, he is all about logic and directness, but he can sometimes be a little unfeeling. Because the sword energy is very, very mental, they don't always evoke very much kind of heart or emotion. And that can be their downfall. When we have a, the Knight of Swords, it's all about that feeling of, you know, you get pulled into this like ambitious project and you're so eager to go ahead. You have all the energy, you have all the knowledge, you're going, going, going. And then you realize that maybe you were too uh, direct and you kind of hurt someone along the way because you weren't understanding other people's feelings as much or you didn't look before you left and you fell in a pile of you know what so it's about kind of reining in that excitement a little bit so that you are actually able to sustain the the activity that you're trying to engage in that you're trying to um, make it so that it'll actually last and it's not just going to be like a flash in the pan type of uh, of thing now, today the moon is also in Aries, which is pretty much the same energy as the Knight of Swords. Um, it's, it's very similar in that the moon in Aries makes us want to act. It makes us want to achieve something. It's about like ambition. And my moon is in Aries in terms of my, my birth chart. So I understand that when I get ideas and when I get urges to, uh, to start new things, I get them so, so badly. It's like, it's like I've been infected and I have to go, go, go. And so I fall into that trap a lot of going too hard and then either burning out or realizing that I didn't quite um, take into consideration the other things that I may have kind of been leaving behind when I turned my attention to this. So it's an energy that I've kind of had to deal with a lot in that I have to learn how to find my balance. So what I've come to do that might be helpful if you kind of get caught in that energy, if you get swept up in it today, is when I'm feeling this like oomph of, of urge to like take on a new project or, or do something, I try to take it slow. I try to think, okay, I'm going to go for um, like the longevity of it, not, not just the, uh, what's, what's it, like a, qu a quality over a quantity kind of thing. Or I want to make sure that this is, is going to last. So instead of just acting and like deciding to, I'm going to buy this new crafting supplies and, you know, start this new type of crafting. Okay, well, first let's learn more about it. Let's watch some YouTube videos. Let's kind of feed that excitement in ways that are going to help me to be better to do the thing if I decide to do it. But I'm not going to make that decision in this energy because it's just too much. I, I won't, I, I don't want to commit to anything when I'm in that kind of mania of excitement for it. So it's a good time when you feel this to kind of sit back, indulge in all like the viewing of the videos, give yourself some time to really dive into whatever it is that you're, you want to explore. Um, do the work ahead of time so that you won't have to do it later, but hold off on the part where you're committing and maybe where you're kind of involving other people. Maybe wait until you understand more about it so that you don't end up regretting what you say or kind of having to backtrack on any commitments that you, uh, that you jump into. I hope this has been helpful. I'm Mel Hartman and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.